Training is essential for first responders. You really want them to know what to do if they show up at your car crash. And a few minutes can mean the difference between life and death. Box 4 Shannon Russo's in Liberty, Missouri, where first responders are adding a new tool to their toolbox. So this car was not in a crash. This is just what it looks like after local first responders use the jaws of life to pry it apart, practicing for what could happen when they're out in the field. With every loud pop and bang, a lesson is being taught. They're learning new construction and new vehicles. That lesson is happening here at Car Star Body Shop in Liberty, where first responders from North Kansas City, Gladstone and Liberty are trading together. That sound filling the space for four hours tonight as they carefully pried open four previously wrecked cars. What makes this training different is the cars. They're newer, either 2015 models or later, which are built with high strength to ultra high strength steel. So why does that matter? Well, it makes it that much more difficult to manipulate with the jaws of life. Obviously, it just takes more strength uh, to basically more uh, more exertion of power to basically chomp through the vehicles. This training with the newer cars only comes around once a year at this shop. Otherwise, Liberty firefighters will go to a junkyard to practice on much older vehicles dating back to 1970, which aren't built the same as today's cars. That's a whole different realm. Something they did not get to practice on tonight are electric vehicles, which pose another challenge. One wrong move with this equipment, and it could lead to getting electrocuted. The structures of them are somewhat the same, but yet you have a lot of other hazards. You have to worry about the batteries and the high voltage. Since seconds count in any crash, tonight's training gets these first responders familiar with the equipment while working as quickly and safely as possible possible to rescue people. So this 2015 Cadillac is one of three vehicles that was donated by Farmers Insurance specifically for tonight's trading. In Liberty, Missouri, I'm Shannon Russo, Fox 4 News.